Okay, hi everyone. Uh, Stephen Campbell here, uh, the developer of virtualghostwriter.com. I have had a lot of feedback and questions about how I got access to GPT-3, OpenAI's GPT-3, and how I was able to integrate that with bubble.io. Uh, I will just walk you through what I did to apply and how I went about getting access first. Now, there are no guarantees because it is a selection process that they do uh, intentionally. Uh, so I am not guaranteeing anything but I'll just show you what I did so I went so I pulled up a browser in incognito mode so I can demonstrate to you how I went about getting access now if you enter beta.openai.com I already have access so I think there are some cookies that are cached but just on the incognito browser there is a join the waitlist tab on beta.openair.com and you hit join the waitlist a form comes up and you apply it says open AI API waitlist and you can read it requires some basic information about yourself about uh, your position, what you are trying to do, you know, if you're affiliated with an organization, your location, and it has a recapture form here, and you just fill out this information and submit. Now, once I submit, there is a pop-up that comes up that says we have received your application. I don't recall getting any emails confirming that uh, I submitted a form, but I just applied. Okay, so next I will show you uh, how I went about getting access deliberately. So this is kind of uh, very funny. Uh, I am doing a YouTube video on how to get access, and in my YouTube video, I'm showing you how I got access by just uh, watching a YouTube video. So the next step is all I did was I typed how to get access to open AI. And I did a YouTube search and the first video that I saw by BAKZT.future. I went and I watched that video and there were some details that he shared. Hello, today I'm gonna to be sharing my story about how I got access to GPT-3. If you don't so, know, GPT-3 is OpenAI's new API. Uh, it allows you access to the GPT-3 model. Uh, right, so he went through the process of telling us how he got access, and I'm gonna tell you how I got access. So I link this YouTube video somewhere in the description. Uh, but in his video, he spoke about writing an email to this guy got, called Greg. He wrote an email um, letting him know that he applied and telling Greg what he wanted to build, right? I, will, I wrote an email as well. But how, how do you get this email from Greg? Or how do you get this email to Greg? So uh, this YouTuber kind of showed us that he went onto a Twitter post. Let me see if I can pull it up here for you. There was some Twitter post from a guy that worked at OpenAI. Here it is, Greg Brockman uh, found it. So it's gdb at openai.com. This was from July 22nd. So what I did, I went onto Twitter. Let 
who just went on the Twitter, did a quick search, Greg Brockman, Then I found him here, Greg Brockman. He's the chairman and CTO at OpenAI. And if you are skilled enough, you can find this tweet. But here is the email address already. So I, I didn't bother to search for this, this tweet itself. But I just grabbed this, e this email address and I sent an email via Gmail to Greg Brockman. I'll show you what. Okay, so here's the email I sent to Greg. I entitled it Access to GPT-3 to Build Keyword Prediction Tool. Uh, this is the initial idea that I had. I have not yet developed this idea. Uh, I'm not scared to share the idea because, you know, I, I understand the dynamics of the internet and you know, ideas are a dime a dozen. Uh, so I said, my name is Stephen Campbell, a solo entrepreneur and no-code maker. I'm seeking to build a tool that predicts the value of keywords used in hashtags, marketing campaigns, ads, social media handles, and the general web in order to inform the purchasing and sales of domain names. I plan to use GPT-3's engine to build the predictor, which takes into consideration sales data from name bio, DN Journal, DN Prices, and eventually, and hopefully, GoDaddy. This tool will be useful to tech startups, digital marketers, investors, VCs, etc. I crave your indulgence. Thanks for your kind consideration. So this email was sent on September 14, 2020, uh, the same day that I applied for uh, GPT-3. So I had just gone onto YouTube, found the video, and I sent this email. I got the reply from OpenAI uh let's see so i got a welcome to open ai email on the 21st of october 2020 and here's the email it says so and so and so so and so and so and so and that's how i got access all right so there are no guarantees in getting access but i think they are fair i think they are intentional and they are persons they are looking out for good ideas and persons who can take open ai and really use the tool to the best of its potential and capacity so thanks for watching this video uh if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me. I make myself available to respond to inquiries and questions. So thanks again for watching and thanks for the support. You can check out the application I built with OpenAI called virtualghostwriter.com. I will do a link in the description. Okay, peace.